Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And we're going to continue our Phillies Imagine season um, against the Padres. And uh, I thought that I would record this opening to let you know, you know, so you can see where we are, maybe some of the stats of some of the players. So uh, we will come up here and we'll go to League... And let's see, no, let's go statistics um, and league stats. So here we are. So here are the standings right now. Uh, you can see we are in last place in the National League East. We are 40 and 72. And we are last in the major leagues tied with uh, the Detroit Tigers who are also 40 and 72. Um, so we have the worst record in the league. That shouldn't be surprising if you've been following the season. That's not surprising at all because we're still down there. Um, and we're only one game worse than Baltimore. So we'll see if we can get up, you know, ahead of Baltimore and Detroit at some point. Um, I wouldn't really uh, bank on that, but. Today we are playing the, the Padres, um, and let's take a look at our team statistics. So team stats, you can see we're 40 and 72, we are 20 and 34 at home, we are 20 and 38 on the road, so we're just as bad on the road as we are at home. 14 and 17 versus lefties, 26 and 55 versus righties, so we have a great deal of trouble with righties. We've scored 538 runs and allowed 669 runs. Um, so uh, let's go to our primary stats and you can see here are the batters. Here's how everyone's doing. We are hitting 249 as a team with 168 home runs and 112 games played. Um, we are uh, our, our uh, home run leader is Jay Bruce. He has 29 of them, 29 home runs in 371 at bats, which is really good. Um, he also has 16 doubles and amazingly six triples. Uh, Gregorius has 10 home runs and 19 doubles. Uh, Hoskins has 25. So we have some guys with some home runs. We do have some home run power here. Bruce with 29, Hoskins with 25. Harper with 24, uh, McCutcheon with 18. He has 18 doubles and 18 home runs. Um, offensively, we're really, I think we're probably in line with about how the Phillies did in the 60-game schedule that they actually played as far as, like, batting average and home run rate and, you know, score, run scoring rate. You know, it's, it's the pitching that's really gone off the rails. Now, in today's game, we're going to be pitching Wheeler. And I know Wheeler shows up all the time on the videos. That's just how it is. The big guys are going to get a lot of the, the lion's share of the starts. Wheeler is 9-8 and eight on the year with a 435 earned run average in 140 innings. And he's allowed 151 hits. So I'll let you just take a second to look at these guys. Look at the statistics while I talk about how bad we are. We have a 548 team earned run average and we've allowed 1,084 hits in 997 innings. Uh, but we have struck out 977 guys. So there are some good things in here that's just not enough to make us a decent team. And so here we are with the batters again just to take a quick look at the batters. Um, and so, like I said, uh, that's that's where we stand. We are the worst team in the league, tied with Detroit, and um, we are going into the game against the Padres. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. I'm here with another game in my Phillies imagined season. Uh, the Phillies are terrible right now. Um, and we are still bad, just like we always have been so far this season. This game is going to be against San Diego in San Diego at Petco Park. Um, 
And uh, this is an August 2nd game. So after this, I think the Phillies have played pretty much everybody at least once on, you know, I've televised games against everybody that they would play at least one time. So I may zoom ahead in the schedule. If I happen to notice a team that they that I haven't recorded, I will put that game up. But I am going to kind of zoom ahead through teams that we've already played on video. Um, because I said, uh, somebody said they wanted to see me play the team against uh, every, at least one game against every team that they play. This is actually going to be the second game against San Diego. So we are starting to repeat teams and I will start to, uh, I will start to just kind of zoom ahead a little bit um, as we go ahead here. So I'm going to uh, read off the lineups as they come up. The first lineup is ours, and we're going to line up as Adam Hazley leading off in center field, Reese Hoskins at first base batting second, batting third will be JT Real Muto, that catcher, uh, a Alec Baum will be the third baseman batting in the cleanup spot, Bryce Harper will bat fifth and play right field, Andrew McCutcheon will bat sixth and play left, Jay Bruce, our home run leader, will be the DH, batting in the seventh spot. Gregorius will bat eighth and play shortstop. And Segura will play second base and bat ninth. And that lineup is going to be facing Denilson Lamette of San Diego. And he may even be the guy that we, um, that we went up against in the other game that I recorded. I'm not sure. But um, let's get on with it. Adam Hazel. Adam Hazley gets a 1-5 against a right, and that's a strikeout. So Lamette with his, uh, strikes out the first guy that he faces, and that brings up Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins with a 4-5, and that is going to be a single. So Reese Hoskins gets aboard with a hit. Second man that uh, Lamette faces... And JT Real Muto is up, the catcher. He gets a 5-6. That is going to be a strikeout. So Lamette strikes out two of the first three guys they faces, which brings up the cleanup hitter, Alec Baum. And Baum gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. So Lamette struck out the side except for the one guy that he allowed on base. And uh, after one, it is, or after one half inning, it is the Phillies nothing. San Diego coming to bat. And San Diego will line up as Jake Cronenworth batting first and playing second, followed by Trent Grisham in center. In the third spot, you got Machado at third base. Then in the cleanup spot, you're going to have a Tati at shortstop batting, in, uh, batting fourth, as I said. Batting fifth, you're going to have Will Myers in right field. Then Moreland at first base, batting sixth. Jerickson Profar, the uh, all-star from this year, uh, playing left field and batting seventh. Then uh, Jason Castro will bat eighth and play catcher. And Eric Hosmer bats ninth as the DH. That lineup will face the guy that is always seems is always on the video when I record. It's either Nola or Wheeler, it seems like. And this time it's Wheeler. So they're going to face Wheeler. Jake Cronenworth with a 3-8, and that's a strikeout. So Wheeler starts off well himself. He is one of our better starters this year, although really nobody is playing particularly well. Trent Griffin gets a 1-4, and that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes out 6-3, which brings up Machado, and hopefully he can get out of this inning 1-2-3 and send us back to the... Uh, batting uh, cage or the batting lineup or the batting boxes 510 batting right and that is going to be a round ball to third he is a 4e18 that is a seven and that is going to be on the e18 so let's roll it let's roll the bones and that's a 10 and 10 is going to be a ground ball so he is out so he goes um Five, three, and we go one, two, three. No runs come across, and we're going to the top of the second. 
And again, you know, you can see the scores are being kept right here, so you can keep up with that. And the uh, we're tracking the innings right here. Bryce Harper is the first batter. He gets a 1-9. That is going to be a walk. So Bryce Harper works his way aboard. Second man to reach against Lamette this inning or this uh, this game. Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon gets a strikeout. So Lamette is striking people out left and right here. He is really on top of his game. And uh, that brings up Jay Bruce. Jay Bruce is going to ground out B. So that's going to be two down and Bruce at first base. And Gregorius is the batter. And that's going to be a 4-10 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball short. The shortstop is Tati, though, and he's good. He's a 1-E-8. That is an 11. And uh, that's going to be on the... Uh, it's going to be on the air rating. It's a 6. And that is going to be an out. So he, he goes out 6-3. And no runs come across for us in the second. We go to the bottom of the second. Uh, yeah. Go to the bottom of the second, and Machado is the batter. Wheeler got the side one, two, three in the first. So here is Machado, three, seven, and he's going to get a fly to center field. Or no, wait, this is Tati. All right, so that's what I thought. Let's see. 3-7, uh, that's going to be a ground ball first. So he is still out. Which brings up Will Myers. Will Myers getting a 6-4, batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. There's two down quickly. And... Mitch Moreland is the batter. He gets a 6-6, six, six, and that is going to be a single. So Mitch Moreland, there he is, gets a single, and that's the first base runner that Wheeler has allowed this game, and it's Mitch Moreland at first with two out and Profar up. And Profar gets a 3-11, and that's going to be a fly to right. So no runs come in for San Diego. We go to the top of the third inning. With Gene Segura up. And he gets a 4-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. My God, he is striking people out left and right. That's the fifth strikeout for Lamette, and we're only in the third. Adam Hazley is up. He gets a 4-10, batting left. That's a ground to the shortstop. He is a 1 that is going to be a 15, and that is going to be an out. So he goes out 6-3, which brings up Hoskins. We're going quickly here, but both teams are. The pitchers are on top of their game. 5-8, batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman for San Diego is a 2-E-10. That is an 8, and that will be on the uh, air rating. So we'll roll it, and it's a 6 Probably going to be an out. That would be my guess, and it is. So he goes out for three, and we are out of the third inning. We go to the bottom of the third with um, with Jason Castro, the batter, stepping in against Wheeler in his 0-0 game in the bottom of the third. Castro is up. He gets a 5-10. Batting left. That is going to be a ground to the third baseman. He is a four. That is a nine. So it's going to be, he is a four E18. So that'll be on the E18. That is a four. Probably going to be something. Uh, it is going to be an E1. So yes, bomb makes a one base error. which brings to the plate um, Eric Hosmer, the DH today. And he gets, a, remember that's a four, we, he gets a three, six. That is going to be a double. 
So now San Diego has runners at second and third. And uh, second hit allowed for Wheeler. The runner at third is Castro, but it's not really Wheeler's fault. That was an error. And Cronin goes up. He gets a 2-3, which is a walk and loads the bases. So San Diego has the bases loaded here with nobody out. And that's not good. Wheeler is good, but I don't see him getting out of this unscathed. Grisham is the batter. Not a great hitter. Gets a 6-6. Six, six. That's going to be a single and knock in a run. It's a one asterisk, so only one run scores. That's Castro, and that is an unearned run because that was the guy that got on by the air. And Machado is the guy. Machado gets a 6-9 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. He needed that badly. He needed that real bad. That's only the second strikeout, though, for Wheeler. There is one down with the bases loaded and Tatis up. He gets a 5-4 batting right. And that's going to be a catcher card. He is a 1, though. Um, and that is a 12. So let's see. 12 and a 1. He is an E. What is he? An E1. So it's going to be on the air rating. We'll roll it out. 8. 8 on an E1 is going to be a ground ball C. And the run runners move up and the run uh, scores. So let's see here. Tati, Fielder's Choice, two to three, and that would have been the third out. So the way I'm uh, thinking is that's also an unearned run. Um, and Tati is the batter. And he gets a 3-7, and that will be a ground ball first base. Or wait a minute, no, this is a Myers. 3-7 is a ground ball shortstop, so it's still an out. 6-3, and two runs score for San Diego. That was not nearly as bad as it could have been. So we'll get the two spot out there for them. And they lead 2 nothing with Real Muto up here in the top of the fourth inning. And that's going to be a 1-7, which is a ground ball shortstop. He's out 6-3, one away. Alec Baum, Alec Baum gets a 1-6. That's, that's going to be a single. Alec Baum with a hit. He's aboard. It's only the second hit Lamette has allowed, though. And he's striking out everybody. Bryce Harper is up. He gets a 6-12 batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball left field. The left fielder for them is three. Is a 3-E-5. That's a 4. And that's going to be a double two asterisk. So runners will be at second and third with only one down. Third hit allowed by Lamette. Runners at second and third, one away, and McCutcheon up. McCutcheon gets a 4-6 batting right. That is going to be a strikeout. The strikeout rears its ugly head again, and that is the sixth strikeout for Lamette with Jay Bruce, and Jay Bruce gets a 5-7 lefty. That is going to be a fly ball center field. So we threaten to score, but we don't, and we go to the bottom of the fourth in a 2-0 game. San Diego ahead with Mitch Moreland up for San Diego. 
You get to 310, that is going to be a, that's going to be a line out. So that, or a ground ball, it's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. One away and profile up, switch hitting profile gets a 6-9 and 6-9 for a batting left is going to be a single. Profile gets a hit, fourth hit allowed by Wheeler, man aboard with one down and Castro up. He gets a 6-3 batting left. That is going to be a ground ball um, with and a uh, or a line out. That's going to be a line out. Line out to second base. And Hosmer is the batter with two down and a man at first. And he gets a three five, and that is going to be a. Home run, home run for Eric Hosmer. He knocks in two runs with that. And uh, now we're in real trouble. And Cronenworth, he goes back to the top of the lineup, and Cronenworth, he gets a 3-4. That's a ground ball to the pitcher. Back to Wheeler, 1-3. But not before San Diego manages to get two more. And so we got to find the four spot for them. And San Diego is up 4 nothing, top of the fifth inning. With Gregorius, the batter. He gets a 3-7 batting left. That is going to be a walk. So Gregorius gets aboard with a walk. Let's see if we can get something started here. I mean, we don't need to get it all back, but we, you know, I'd like a run or two to bring us a little closer. Segura is up. 6-5 batting right, and that is going to be a double. Let's see here. Yeah. That's a double. And we have runners in scoring position. Lamet giving up his fourth hit. There's a man 90 feet away and another one 180 feet away with only one down. Um, or no, no, nobody out. And Hazley. Hazley gets a 4-5 batting left. That's a strikeout, though. Lamette, as I said, he's got his gas going today. He, that's the seventh strikeout for him here in the fifth. Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 2-3. That's going to be a hit by pitch plus injury. He's going to be out for at least two games. Um, and the pinch runner, we'll go get the pinch runner for him. And that's going to be Phil Goslin. So um, that loads the bases. And uh, let's see. Mark down that Goslin is the pinch runner here in the fifth. And um, injury, let's see what for sure what the injury is. The injury is only one game, so he's only going to miss the next game. But the bases are loaded. The bases are full here with um, only one out and real Muto up. If there was ever a time he needs to get a hit, it's now and he doesn't. It's a strikeout, of course. 
Lamette with eight strikeouts. I mean, he is on top of his game today. And Alec Baum is up. And Alec Baum gets a 1-9, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. I can't believe we walked away from that with no runs. We go to the bottom of the fifth. It's 4 nothing, San Diego. I mean, this is it's it, that's really typical. It's par for the course for this team. Um, I mean, to to be honest with you. So Grisham is up, and he gets a six-five batting left. That's going to be a home run for Grisham. I mean, I, when it rains, it pours, and it's been pouring for the Phillies all season long. Machado is up. Machado gets a 4-4, batting right. That's going to be a single. That's a ballpark single for Machado. Again, when it rains, it pours. Seventh hit allowed by Wheeler. Tati gets a 5-12, batting right. That's going to be a ground ball second base. He is a 2-E-10. That is a 7 And that's going to be a ground ball B, so he's the runner at first now. And Myers is the batter. He gets a 2-5. And that, I can't believe this. Home run, one. it's a home run. Home run, Will Myers. This is just, it's unbelievably crazy I, I I don't I really don't understand this this team should not be this bad but uh, they are and uh, that's two more runs three home runs allowed by Wheeler on the day and um, Mitch Moreland up. he gets a 512 batting left that's going to be uh, second base X. He's a two ten. That's going to be a that's going to be a hit. That's a single. I, it's, it's really crazy. I mean, Profar is the batter. He gets a four nine batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. He is a two e twenty. That is a thirteen. That's going to be a ground ball B, so that's another out, another fielder's choice. And, uh, and Castro is the back. 1 8, and that's a strikeout. That's the third strikeout for. Wheeler, but it doesn't really matter. Statistically, this is a horrible game for him. So three more runs come in, so we have to go get the uh, seven spot for the Padres, who lead now 7 nothing. Don't really see this being a comeback by us. It's hard for me to understand that that could even happen. Um... And we, let's see, they, they got three. And we go to the top of the sixth with Harper as the batter. You get the 2 5, that is going to be a single. Lamette giving up a hit. McCutcheon up. He gets a 4-7, batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout, one away. McCutcheon has struck out every time he's come up. Of course, a lot of guys have multiple strikeouts here because Lamette has nine of them. Jay Bruce is the batter. He gets a 5-7. Wait a minute. Yeah, 5-7. And he is a lefty, and that is going to be a 
uh, fly ball center. And Gregorius is up. So we've squandered opportunities and we're just getting our asses handed to us. 6 3, batting left. That is going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to second. We get no runs. We go to the bottom of the sixth, and that's going to be it for Wheeler. He goes only five. I'm going to take him out. Uh, oh. I'm going to bring in David Phelps. Phelps is on, and he'll face Hosmer. Yeah, Hosmer here in the sixth. That is a 4-9, batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. Phelps strikes out the first guy he faces, although that is their ninth hitter. Cronenworth back to the top of the lineup, 5-9. Batting left, and that is also a strikeout. So Phelps strikes out the first two guys he faces, and Trent Grisham is up. Trent Grisham gets a 4-10, and a 4-10 is going to be a single. So Trent Grisham is aboard with a hit. Phelps giving up his first hit. And Machado. Machado gets a 6-9 batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball short. He is a 2... What is he? A 2-E-20. That is a 12. And that's going to be on the E-20, which is unfortunate because that's not going to be good. That's a four. That's going to be something. Four is an E1. So now there's runners at first and second. On the E6, one base error. And, um, and Tati is a batter. And he gets a 210. And that is going to be a ballpark single. And loads the bases. Phelps giving up his second hit. Bases are loaded, two out. Myers is up. He gets a 4-10 batting right. And that is going to be a line out to second base. So he barely gets out of this with no runs allowed. We go to the top of the seventh, losing big time, 7-0. And Segura is the batter. Uh, we're going to let uh, Lamette go at least the seventh inning. 6-11, batting right. And uh, that's going to be a strikeout. Man, I mean, this dude is striking people out left and right. That is the tenth strikeout for Lamette. I don't remember him being that this good. Adam Hazley is the batter, 6-2, batting left. That's a fly to left. Uh, the left fielder is a 3E5. That is a 5. And that's going to be a single. So, Hazley is aboard with a hit. Sixth hit allowed by Lamette on the day. Uh, and Goslin is up. Goslin came in for the injured... Um, the injured Reese Hoskins, that's a 6-11. 6-11 is a ground ball, second base, A. And so that is going to be, or wait a minute. Nope, it's a strikeout. 6-11 is a strikeout because he's a righty. That is the 11th strikeout for Lamette. And JT Real Muto gets a 3-9. That is a home run, but it's a little late. 
Well, it's not that really it, that it's late. It's that we've just given up way too many runs for this to be relevant. But Lamette does allow a hit and two runs on a home run. And Baum is off. And Baum gets a 4-3. And that is going to be a fly ball to right field. Oh, wait a minute. Fly ball right field. Yes, it is. He's a 2-E-3. Or wait a minute. He's a 3-E-10. 3-E-10, and that's an 11. So it's going to be an E-10, which is really bad for an outfielder. And that's going to be a, a two-base error. So uh, Baum gets on by a two-base error. Error um, left fielder. Right? I think so. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. No, right fielder, right, E9. And uh, Harper is the batter. He gets a 6-5 batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball right field. And that is the last out. We do get two runs, but again, that's really a little too late, a little too little, and a little too late. It's seven to two, and um, McCutcheon is up. We're gonna take Lamette out. He goes seven. He did seven really good innings. Bring in Luis Perdomo. Luis Perdomo. And um, McCutcheon is up in the top of the eighth. That is a 1 4. That's going to be a foul out to the catcher, one away. Jay Bruce is the batter. That is a 5-8. Left batting left. That's going to be a ground ball second. He goes out 4-3. And Gregorius is the batter. And he gets a 6-8. And that's going to be a pop out. Oh, wait a minute. That's going to be a strikeout. So Gregorius strikes out. Perdomo gets him for his first K of the game. And uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth. Mitch Moreland is up. Folks is still out there. He gets a 6-7. Batting left, that is going to be a ground ball second. Well, this should be the eighth. I think I scored it, misscored it, or whatever. But anyway, profile is up. Um, that is a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I think this is the eighth. It doesn't really matter. I want to get this game over with anyway. 5-5. <laughs> uh, five, five. Um, that's going to be a home run. Jerickson Profire with a home run. Castro is the batter. He gets a 3 8. Um, that's going to be a walk. It's just really ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I, Hosmer is up. I've never seen a team that should be as good as these guys should be. Uh, he's hit by pitch plus injury, and he's going to be out for quite a while. But he does go to first base.
And I don't think we're going to need to figure out who his replacement is. Cronenworth is up 3 9. That is going to be a ground ball, second base C. So I think it goes second and third, right? And Trent Grisham up. And he gets a 311, and that's going to be a ground ball first base. But they do get a run, the uh, Padres do, so let's not cheat them. Let's give them their eight. So it's eight to nothing. Top of the ninth. Uh, the Phillies are going to need, or it's 8-2, sorry, it's 8-2, we're going to need six runs, I don't see us getting it, um, Juan Segura, or Gene Segura, Gene Segura is the batter, he gets a 5-5, five, five. and that's going to be a ground ball short, he is a 1, that is an 8. That's going to be on the E rating. He is a one, uh, a one E eight. That is a five, and that's going to be a ground ball. So he's out six three. One down and Hazley up. Hazley gets a six twelve, batting left. Um, that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. The pitcher is a, what is he? He is a 4E51, and that's a 15. Uh, E51, probably going to be an error, but, uh, and yeah, it'll probably end up being an error, but I'll roll it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's an E1. Hazley is on by an error by the pitcher. With Goslin, Goslin is the batter, 2-8, he gets a fly ball right. And that brings up Real Muto. 6-10. Batting right. That is going to be a walk. Or wait a minute. Yeah, it is. It's a walk. So we've got two guys on. And Alex Baum up. He gets a 4-7 batting right. And that is going to be a single, so the bases are loaded. I still don't really see us doing anything here, but who knows. Bryce Harper up. He gets a 6-5 batting left, and that is going to be a double. Double scores two runs. There's two out, so I'm just going to leave Perdomo out there. And uh, McCutcheon's up. McCutcheon gets a 2-7 against a righty, and that's a single to right field. And it scores at least one, and it could be, let's see here. And it could score Harper, but it does score bomb. Harper running is a 1 to 15. Yeah, we still need some runs though, so I'm going to say no. We're going to stop uh, Harper at third. So runners are at the corners. There's two down still and Bruce up. 
And Bruce gets a 6-8 batting left, and that is going to be his finally a strikeout and a last out. So Perdomo finally does get out of the inning and get the Padres out of the game. We do come up with three runs, though. And so the final score is 8-5. to five. We lose this game 8-5. So it ended up being a decent game. But really, as you watched it unfold, you know it really wasn't. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, signing off.